New tonight, Raleigh police are calling a death investigation from September a homicide. The victim's father is frustrated. He doesn't think law enforcement has been forthcoming with information about a crime that happened weeks ago in broad daylight on Crabtree Creek Greenway. WRL Chelsea Donovan sat down with him today and showed him his son's autopsy for the first time. But Chelsea, he's been asking for that for weeks. That's exactly right, Gerald. He feels he's not getting clear answers after his son was shot and killed right here on the Greenway in the back of the head and left for dead. Police, as you mentioned, for weeks have been calling this a death investigation, something that frustrates Clark's father. But tonight, an autopsy report is revealing much more. Rodney Clark Sr. walks the Crabtree Creek Trail daily, hoping to find any clue. It's just been hard. His son, Rodney Clark Jr., was found shot and killed here on the trail on the afternoon of September 29th. My thoughts are something is not right. My thoughts are they're covering up something. Police didn't immediately rule the case a homicide, a decision Clark questions. Even though Raleigh police told him he was shot in the back of the head and no gun was found nearby. He was shot and killed the same way that those people in Hanahan were killed. Immediately, Y'all identified and said they were killed. You knew that he had got shot in the back of the head. Why haven't you told the public that he was killed and let everybody know? His death certificate says homicide. And this autopsy report WRAL just obtained and showed to Clark for the first time also says the same, homicide. Mm, 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 mm. It just brought back, brought everything back over again like it just happened. Clark's autopsy shows Clark and a female co-worker took the trail to walk home from work at a nearby McDonald's. The female arrived home and Clark then started Googling car insurance on his phone around 336. 11 minutes later, a 911 call was made that his body was found and police found his phone beside him, even an earbud still playing music. Clark feels police aren't telling him the whole story, especially after reading the autopsy. They're constantly telling me, giving me the run around about everything. They're constantly telling me one thing, then changing the story. Clark says every few weeks when he talks to police, he's getting different information and they have yet to tell him that this is a homicide. So I push for answers for police from Raleigh police today and they sent me this statement. They said, quote, death investigations such as these are classified as such when the circumstances of the death are undetermined and accidents and self inflicted inflicted rather injuries have yet to be eliminated as a cause of death. And now through investigative means, investigating officers have determined that this case is a homicide. Gerald. Chelsea Donovan live in Raleigh. Thank you, Chelsea.